Hey everybody, we're going to look at troubleshooting a fan inside a W1070. This also applies to W1080 and a handful of other models, which I will list in the description. This is actually the same projector from another video uh, where I did some other work to it that you'll also see listed in the description. And the last bit where I'm at now is after it runs for an hour or two, it overheats. So I'm pretty sure it's that fan right there. I actually have a, another projector, a uh, MX610, oops, that I'm putting in the way here that I know is good. That fan is good. It's fairly new. But we're going to see what the difference is between the two fans. I have my portable scope and my meter set up. What we'll do is we'll turn it on. This is with the old fan. You can get a ground for the uh, meter. And then I have a ground for the scope. So let's see. On the tack lead, which is the brown one. We're getting about 78 hertz on the tack lead. And if we go to the meter, multimeter, more people have a multimeter, we're getting about 1.6 volts. Oh. Then, if I switch this to hertz frequency, again, about 75 hertz. The scope, I think, said 74 hertz. Yeah, between 75 and 74, you can see there's a little back and forth. Now, I don't know how stable this is. Because I see this moving around a lot. You know, it also could be that the blades physically aren't that good. But what I think is if you look at the waveform... And with the way those pulses are getting shorter and longer, I, uh, I wonder how stable that is. And it looks like the peak-to-peak -peak voltage is jumping between 3.2 and 3.35 maybe. 3.4 maybe. So let's see if I do this right. If I do save. Okay. And... Then let's turn it off and I'm going to let this cool down a moment and then we'll switch and we'll put the other fan in and see what we get on that one. All right, I put the new fan in. That's the old one. It's got the X on it. You know, it, it's got like a, I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know, maybe you can hear it if I do this. It's got like a little noise. But let's see, it's probably going to be the same thing. 74 hertz, almost on the dot. I'm getting the same peak-to-peak -peak voltage, which I guess is normal. But 74 hertz, almost, nope, oh, nope, a little up and down. I know this thing can change the uh, speed if it's in high altitude mode or not. And I'm thinking that maybe we could try that. All right, high altitude mode is on. Let's see if we get anything. No, 75 hertz. A little bit of fluctuation in between. Go figure. I'm just going to admit, I have no idea why that this fan is no good. Well, it looks like it's speeding up a little. Okay, we're up to 83 hertz. 86. 87. Ninety-four. Oh, I'm blocking everything. Here we go. And that's with high altitude mode on. 
So I'll turn high altitude mode off. And then we should see that drop back down pretty quickly. And the spaces in between those pulses will get wider. Once that gets back down all the way, we'll see if we can play back what I recorded and we'll see if it, uh, if it overlays the old one. Let's see, so that's menu, view wave. Select view waves, I guess. Um, hmm. Maybe menu? No. Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. 75. Okay. There we are. So, that looks the same to me. I have no idea what the difference is. I just know that when I tested it with this fan... I could run it eight hours, no problem. It could be that these blades... Oh, actually, I see something. Maybe you guys can see it, too. If you look at this blade... Ooh, I can feel it, too. Oh, yeah. The edges of this blade got really hot. Where they weren't molded right. This is a refurb. You see that? I wish you could feel it. It's all crusty and lumpy and Yeah, see that one's smooth. Not so smooth, 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 smooth. Not good. So I bet it's the shape. It's probably the shape of some of those blades. I don't know if it's it doesn't look like it's spinning very even either. Watch this gap. And you'll see it doing that. So that might be what the difference is. What I just did there will tell you if the speed isn't right. But if the speed is right, then you want to start looking at physical things like conditions of fans, that sort of thing. So let me turn the scope and the meter off and then we'll uh, I'll take this fan out and we will look at the blades on this fan and compare them to this okay let's unplug it so this is the good fan I actually have a, uh, a brand new fan on the way so this fan you can see how smooth those blades are because it goes that oh, goes that way. That even sounds better. Here's the bad one. And this one's going clunk clunk clunk. I can feel it vibrating. So there's something not spinning right in there. And then if you just look at the surface. Where's the, okay, we'll compare, you can see how not straight that blade is, or I mean they're not straight, but you can see how irregular that blade is compared to this one. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. So that's something to look for. 
I mean, you might be able to do something about that, but these are, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 bucks, depending on where you get them. Um, you can get them overseas for less, but, um, yeah, this one will kind of work. If we put it in high altitude mode, it would probably work. That would be a good, uh, temporary fix just to like get through the Super Bowl or whatever. But long term, you want to replace these. So I tested it with this one. I know this one's good, and I know that's what's going to fix it. So I've ordered the fan for this, and I'm going to wait for it to come in, and then we'll install it, and then we'll run it again for another eight hours to make sure it's good to go. And then it can go back to the fella, and uh, he can enjoy it. So while I'm waiting on that, I'll put bad fan back in here. I'll plug her in just so it doesn't get lost. Then we'll get my MX-610. I really don't know what the difference is between the two. I mean, I know some of the features are different. Look, here's the, the back panels between the two. So this doesn't have component or normal component, but it has dual VGA, which you can kind of use as component. Uh, to, oh, no, there's the serial. It only has one HDMI. Uh, but it also has network, which is kind of cool. So I don't know which one's really better. I would say for home use, the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The W1070 is better. I mean, W1070 is just a better projector, really. But they're pretty close. So put that back in. Tuck that back in there. Then I'll get the top. that back down. Let me get my screws. All right. Since that's the only screw on the top, I'm going to put the door cover on. There's no lamp in this one. I've been thinking, well, I've been listing this on eBay, and I haven't gotten any bites. But I took it off eBay to use as a test projector. I actually have two of these. One has a lamp, a new lamp, actually. This one does not. So this one I probably will not list, relist on eBay. And I'll just keep it around for a uh, W1070 uh, and other model test platform. Because I know all the pieces in here are good, so I can take the pieces out and use them for testing. There we go. And then I got these two. Oops, doesn't go in there. probably leave these out but I don't want to lose them it's probably wise just to leave this together and just take it apart when I need to take it apart so there's the uh, 610 710 sorry MX 710 so MX 710 and a W1070 Almost the same thing. Get that leg back down. There we go. So stay tuned for the rest of this video. Uh, as soon as I have that fan in, we'll put it in and uh, test it out. Thanks for watching.